I found another piece that I missed doing, the uh, putting the bumper bar mounts on. Now I should have done that before I put the guard on, even though I haven't bolted the guard up fully. The uh, reason for that is getting access to the bolts. There's a hole in the front here which is covered by the guard when the guard's on. Uh, the other hole here and there's a big hole at the, the back there to give you access. So it just makes it twice as hard to get it in. Now, whoop, I'm just trying to get the back bolt in. Just fell on the floor. So it's just going to be a little bit difficult to uh, manoeuvre it in. Um, if worse comes to worse, I'll have to take the guard off. But I need to get these on, and I also need to get them in the right position. Because there is a little bit of movement to and fro when you uh, uh, put the bolts in. So I have an old bumper bar. Uh, I still haven't got the, the other one back from the Kramer. Uh, so I'll make sure it's... Uh, they're in the right position so I can line the bolts up into the bumper bar. I finally got the chroming back. This is the grill. It's um, come up not too bad. A couple of blemishes but um, not too worried about that. The, um, the grill I actually had to uh, repair it with a number of cracks around the bottom here in particular. I had to uh, braise that up. Luckily those brazes were good enough uh, to be finished off by the Kramer. So uh, that's all done. What I've now got to do though is to install a few things. This um, piece here is for the uh, crank handle cover. It goes in through here mounts up inside, I've got to do that. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult, I've got all the pieces. I've got the, uh, I guess the fake radiator cap it goes on the top. I've um, put all the bolts and uh, nuts and things for that, so that's okay. That can go on. And the other pieces that I've got to put in are the, the grill inserts. Now, they're actually the colour of the car, they're black. I painted these up a long, long time ago. So they're ready to, uh, to go in. Uh, I've just got to bolt them in place, so I've got to do that as well. So I might as well assemble it all, put all the pieces in one, one unit rather than have them scattered over the garage and, and so on. So I'm about to do that. I say not that difficult. The, uh, it's done from the other side of course. I've uh, so I've managed to uh, find all the, the nuts and so on that will be used and I've got to put that in. This piece in the bottom, the um, that's for the crank handle as well. Now, that just locates on this, it's, it's not really bolted on at this stage, it's, it's got to go through a number of other pieces on the uh, front of the car, in particular the, I think you call it probably the apron at the front. So uh, it's just held in place so you can um, uh, position it, uh, because uh, once you've got all these other pieces on, and it's bolted up to the front of the uh, radiator, you can't get in to do that. So. so that's just temporarily located there. So anyway, I'll start to reassemble it. It shouldn't take that long. Um, nice to keep saying that, just to encourage myself. But uh, hopefully it should be straightforward. I've got the radiator components back in place. The centre of the grill is all bolted in. The um, cap over the crank handle is done and I'll put the uh, chrome uh, piece on the top there. So that's all uh, complete. The um, radiator surround at the moment is only just temporarily screwed into place. There's four screws across the top, a couple in the middle, a couple each side. 
so uh, it's ready to uh, fold up uh, it will bolt up with the with the side plates on the side here I'm now working on the passenger side guard just to flat the paint um, same long process as before I've only just started this I've just rubbed the outside with 2000 I've still got to do all of this so it will take quite some time but um, it's necessary before I put it uh, on the car for buffing now I've finished doing a, an initial buff of the passenger guard just got my wife to help me put it up there um, so um, I'd like to say it's ready now to start bolting things on and um, that's what I was about to do until I realised I don't have the uh, headlight um, piece in and I just tried, you can't fit it once you've bolted this on because this um, support frame here gets in the way I mean I haven't bolted that on proper, I've just got a bolt sitting through the hole so what I've got to do is to uh, release that bolt, it's just taken me 10 minutes to get into place and um, lift the guard up a little bit and then drop the headlight um, cup inside so uh, this is what I did that before I bolted everything up um, I'll triple check everything to make sure there's not other hidden dangers um, like the, the bottom apron uh, just looking at that I'm not sure whether I can get that on and with the guards in place but I'll check that as I say I haven't bolted these guards on fully I've only just got the, the three bolts at the back and just one loose bolt at the front so uh, I need to check the uh, jigsaw to make sure I've got it in the right order <laughs> 